Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, the 2018 AIDS Walk is coming up, so we invited Anthony Smallwood and John Parker in from AIDS Volunteers Incorporated to help spread the word on what is happening. Welcome to the show. I Thank can't you. believe it's been a year. It has been a year. <laughs> what has gone on in oh. 12 months within the community and something that we want to really stress to people that many people think HIV is a thing of the past. Absolutely. It we, really isn't. It is not. Let's and discuss it. It is something that we fight about and, and spread the word about every day. The fact that right now our service requests are up 30%. We're seeing more people than ever. Eight of the 10 counties nationwide most at risk for an outbreak of HIV are in Kentucky. We have a lot of work to do spreading the word about um, testing, HIV testing, getting more people aware of their status so that we can get them connected to care and take good care of Why them. Why is it so high here? We have a lot of uh, drug use that we've not gotten a handle on yet. And again, you know, you have to keep educating people and reminding them that they have to take steps. We've come a long way, but yeah. we still have a long way to go. Okay, so how important is it for your services here in the state of Kentucky in downtown Lexington for what you're doing? Every year the AIDS Walk gives us an opportunity not only to reflect on the past and honor those we have lost, but it also gives us an opportunity to continue to raise awareness, yeah. fight stigma, and bring more and more people to the conversation and the dialogue about what we need to do as a community to stay ahead of and this. And we really want everyone to know also that, you know, it really isn't, and I hope a lot more people are realizing this, it's not necessarily just a homosexual disease. It yeah. is across all spectrums. Absolutely. And yeah. we need to remember that as well, that everyone part of the community should get behind it yeah. because there may be someone you know. AVOL serves everyone. Everyone. That's yes. what I love to hear. All right, let's get to the fun stuff, everyone. There's a big fun run or fun walk <laughs> or what is it? Well, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a Let big me tell you. red fun day Sunday. What's happening? We are going to be, uh, of course, we're doing our AIDS walk. On yeah. um, it, the lineup is at 1.30. I hear we've got a really fabulous uh, host and we MC do. for the walk Absolutely. this year. Uh, oh, you mean David Goldman? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Troy. Uh, Troy Thompson, I do believe. <laughs> yes, I'm coming out. Are you? I was blessed enough for you to ask me last year if I would MC. And I'm going to go out again this year, and David Goldman's coming along with me. Yeah, so it's going to be amazing. Um, we are let's, thrilled. It's, what time does it start? Let's uh, the lineup again. is going to be at 1.30, and the walk is going to start promptly at 2 and then we've got the big red fun day Sunday which is the party at sound bar and that's uh -huh. going to start at 3 30. Okay what goes on at the sound bar? I did go I had a friend from New York who came with me that's last right. year yeah. but I didn't stay for the whole event. Yeah. Well this what? party is it, we're actually going to have um, it's a ticketed event, but there's going to be food, there's going to be drinks, there's going to be um, dancing, there's going to be a drag show. It's and we've got forty-three hundred dollars worth of prizes to give wow, away. Wow, fantastic! Um, it's going to be an amazing event. It's going to be so much fun. Now, how long have you been doing the walk for here? This in is our twenty-sixth mm -hmm. AIDS Walk for Life. Okay. Um, and they start. Uh, Ninety-three was our first year. Okay. And, uh, I remember it. You remember it? I remember it. You've been it. walking ever since. I've been walking. <laughs> Look, I want to very quickly ask you before we go to break and put the rest of the information up there, how important is it that there's an open dialogue within families about this disease? I think that the communication has to happen naturally. If we don't start talking about uncomfortable things, we're never going to have the conversations for young people, you know, that we're trying to get ready for life, you know, we've got to talk to them. Again, they also believe now with PrEP out there yeah. and other, co they feel that with the drugs that right. I can live now forever. Right. Yes, that's true, it, but. Nobody wants this. And you know, some of the other things that come along with it, because it's the same risk factor like hepatitis C, which yeah. is a very devastating uh, disease. We have a, a concern for people to not get sick when they don't need to. Yeah. With the right information, that is they correct. can beat this. Listen, guys, I love that you come in. We're happy to support you here as a station. Thank you as for well everything. for the LGBTQ community. Let's put all the information up on the screen there again. Facebook.com forward slash avol.kentucky. There's their website as well. We're looking forward to having everyone come out. There's all the information about the event this Sunday, April 15th. Hey, we'll wrap it up after this short break. But first, a little bit more from Livia Faith.